Hello and welcome to this video. Thanks for clicking on it. Um, this is a paint with me slash art vlog video and you'll be seeing me painting one of my latest and favorite paintings. Um, it is an, a figure oil painting and I hope you have a lot of fun. Um, if you like this video, consider subscribing and consider checking out my Instagram and that's all I'm gonna say. Have fun and I hope you like it. So, I think I found my reference picture. Um, I didn't really know what to paint. Um, I knew that I wanted to do a... Let me take out my headphones. Um, <laughs> I knew that I wanted to do a um, body or like some sort of figure because I haven't really been inspired to paint figures that much at all this year, but I have a bunch of them. I think I've showed you two of them already um, in my room here and I haven't seen them since July. And They've just really inspired me and I feel really excited to just, yeah, paint some figures. So I have one that I, it's a picture I got from Pinterest and I will probably change it a bit, but it's just as a reference. Um, it's basically like this. I don't know if I'm gonna, probably not gonna include her face. It's probably gonna be more just the body um, neck down. Um, because I really enjoy painting that and I also don't really have that big of a canvas to buy some canvases, so, but yeah, I'm excited. So this might look random right now, um, actually I think I haven't even said hi, no I've said hi but not today so it's a week later <laughs> and um, I'm just starting the oil painting and um, I know it looks a bit random right now, I've just started with the darkest color that I'm going to use which is the dark purple right now, I might use black but actually wait, let me close the window because I think it's really noisy right now. So I hope this is better, um, yeah, so I'm just starting with purple and I already love it so much because I just I don't have to pay that much attention like it's not random I am paying attention to the shadows and to the details but I know I can paint over it and I don't have to be as careful or as planned out as I have to be when I paint portraits so this is so much fun I haven't painted a figure in like months like last time I painted a figure was I painted one in like June July um but it was different and I'm sort of inspired by this painting back here, I could put a close up in here. Um, that I just painted really loosely, and I absolutely love the brush strokes you can see. You can see different colors, and the colors look really odd if you look at them alone. Like, I have really bright pinks in there and purples and stuff, but if you look at them all together, they make sense. So, that's what I'm going for here. Um, and I'm having so much fun. So, yeah, I just wanted to say that. Um, I've added most of the purple, I'm gonna go in with like a brown reddish color that's a bit lighter and I think I'm just gonna go with my intuition um, with those paintings. Of course I don't want to paint on top of each other that much so I have to pay attention to where I'm putting the colors. Like I'm not gonna be putting red all over because then I'll have to go over stuff and I might leave some stuff white in the end I don't know yet. So I 
I'm paying attention, but I don't pay as much attention as I usually would. And I'm just going with my intuition, which is really nice. So yeah, I hope you're enjoying it so far. And yeah. a bit too dark um, I got a bit carried away I don't think it's yet too bad I think I just need to go in with like some orange yellowish lightish colors and um, yeah but I don't know how long I will paint for I think I'll probably only paint for like another 20 minutes or something uh, I've been painting for like maybe 45 minutes ish um, and then I think I should step away and I don't know if I will finish it today I might I might not Sometimes I think I'm not finished and then I'm like uncontent with like the piece and then I step, I look at it again the next day and I'm like, well, that's actually finished. I really like the painting. The thing is, I it was way too purple pinkish, and I like the way it looked, but it did not. Like the original picture is way more brownish, so I decided to add some brown, but I've been having difficulties ever since starting to paint because the paint is completely dry, which I knew because it's been a week uh, since I've been able to paint, but I thought that, I don't know, for some reason I didn't think about it that much. Um, so I'm trying to add some brown. Beginning that was really hard because um, I had to figure out a way to paint because normally if I paint that loosely the colors sort of fade into each other because the paint is still wet um, especially with oil paint but since everything is dry um, I'm having to paint over it which can be good but can also be really bad so I hope that I'm not like making a mistake by trying to add some more brown in it but I think it's a bit too purplish Voice over me is back. Um, sorry for my raspy voice. I'm a bit sick. Um, but at this point of the painting, I had to be really, really careful because, as I was saying, it was kind of really hard to paint because the entire base layer was completely dry. So I had to be really careful, and I had to really focus on the painting. And you see me going back and forth. You see me thinking, um, "I'm finished," and leaning back and stuff, and then going back to the painting again because. In the end, I changed way more than I thought I would, but I'm really happy with the end results. But yeah, it were, I had to be really careful um, with which colors I had already laid down, how the color would appear on top of it, and um, in the end, it all worked out. Um, but the process took way longer than I thought it would be. 
but sometimes you just have to be careful and actually really think and I think it is always kind of scary to do that and to um, go ahead and paint over most of the painting in a, in a stage like that um, but sometimes it can be worth it sometimes it's the wrong decision <laughs> but in this case it was definitely worth it and I think I want to sort of encourage you to take that step if you think that your painting is at a point where you should paint over some parts of it um, take that step because you might make your painting way better So I think I'm done. Um, I think I like it. I think I just need some distance from it. I don't like the black things I've done like in the background. And I think if they still bother me this much tomorrow or by the next few days, I'll definitely paint over it in white. But I feel like, you know, I can't just paint over one area of the of the background. I would have to have to paint the entire background. And I don't really want that. Um, so we will see. I might I might like it. I I might don't care about the black um errors in the background tomorrow so i think yeah i think i'm done um i do think it looked totally different than it did this morning and like before i added the brown i painted over way more than i thought i would like i painted over so much space um and i think it just gave the painting a different tone a different color but it looks more like the original painting um and it gives me some advice for some reason it's it's, it's really it's not as purpley. One thing I do like is I think it's not as patchy and as um, you can't, there aren't that many different brush strokes next to each other anymore. I think it's more, it's coming together a bit more. So I do like that. Um, but yeah, the background bothers me a bit, but yeah, I hope, I think, I think it's, I think it's good. Um, I'm probably just gonna have to look at it again in like an hour. Um, but yeah, I really hope you like it. Um, and um, yeah, thank you very much for watching.